Describing distributions of univariate data in context. Describing distributions. So when describing distributions of univariate data, there are four things that we want to make sure we address. The first thing we want to make sure that we address is the shape of the data. Is the data symmetrical? Is it skewed left? Is it skewed right? We want to make sure that we describe the shape. We also want to describe the center of the data. So that could be the median or the mean. Remember, mean is the best measure of center if our data is symmetrical. Median is our best measure of center if our data is skewed one direction or the other. We want to address spread, so either the IQR or the standard deviation. Remember, IQR goes with median, standard deviation goes with mean. And then we want to also describe or address if there are any outliers in the data. Outliers are numbers that are significantly different than the rest of the data. So on the practice problem page that is attached in Canvas, um, you have several problems where you're going to be able to practice describing distributions, but let's do one together first. So here we have Kettler. Kettler checked power school to see her grade in math class. These were her grades, 15, 65, 78, 90, 95, 100, 88, 60, 99, 185. And we are being asked to describe the distribution of this data. So what we want to do first is probably create a histogram or some sort of visual representation of this data. So let's use that same website that we had been using earlier. It's linked in the Canvas page um, in order to type in this data and see a visual representation. Okay, so here we are. Our scores were 15, 65, 78, 90, 95, 100, 88, 60, 99, 185. So I have this set up so that we have our histogram and our box plot in the same section. So our histogram, it looks like it's skewed left a little bit. So most of the data is on the right side, and then we have a little bit of a tail off to the left. If we look at our box plot, we see the same thing. It looks like most of our data is over here on the right, and then we have one outlier over here on the left. So because our data is not symmetrical, we don't want to use mean as a measure of center. Instead, we're going to want to use median. So based off of the visual representations that we have created here, we can see that the shape of our data is skewed left because most of the data is on the right side of the graph. And we can also see that our median is 88. So let's go record that on our slide. So describing the shape of the data, let's type this in. So the shape, we know that it is skewed left. We know that most of the data is on the right. So when we think about that in context, that means that most of Kettler's scores were pretty high, right? So if we go back to that tab, we see that most of Kettler's scores look like they were 80 and higher. So most of Kettler's scores were 80 and higher. So let's add that to our slide. So in context, that means most of Kettler's scores were 80 and above. When we think about the center of the data, the median is the best measure of center, again, because our data is skewed. So her median score is an 88. So that means her very middle score was a high B, an 88%. When we think about spread, because we used median as our measure of center, we want to use IQR as our measure of spread. So looking back at this data, our IQR, it looks like it's going from 99 at Q3 to 65 at Q1. So our IQR, is gonna go from 99 to 60, was it 65? Yep, 99 to 65. 
So I'm going to do 99 minus 65, and that is going to give me an IQR of 34 points. So her data is pretty spread out. Her scores are pretty spread out um, because her IQR spans over, or the middle 50% of her scores span over 34 points. And then lastly, we want to think about any outliers that she has. And we do see that she does have an outlier at 15. So she had one really low score of 15, but most of her assignments consistently scored at an 80 or above. So the outlier is 15. And this means that she had one assignment that she didn't do well on, but overall, most of her scores were 80 and above. So when we think about describing distributions, it's helpful for us to think about describing them in terms of a context. So when we think about the shape of the graph again, because it's skewed left, we know in context that means that most of her scores were higher on the higher end. Same with her outlier. She had one outlier at 15, which tells us that maybe she was just having a bad day that day. Um, maybe she didn't study for a test, but overall she scores much higher than that. Her median score is an 88, so her central point, her central score on an assignment is 88, which tells us half of all her scores are higher than an 88 and half of all her scores are lower than an 88. And then we know that her measure of spread her IQR is 34, so her middle 50% of assignments have a span of 34 points. 